Samsung CHG90 super ultra wide monitor 32 by 9 and resolution 3840 by 1080. Um, the settings, what about the settings? I've been getting a lot of questions uh, asked about what type of settings do you use, Mr. 4K Upscaler, for this uh, super ultra wide monitor? Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, first thing first, you need to understand that this is a VA panel. What does the VA stands for? A vertical alignment panel. And that's a good thing. And you want the vertical alignment panel. So that way, when you are watching from left to the right, you're not going to have any color shift. If this was a TN panel, this would be god awful. But thank God that it's not a TN panel, twisted pneumatic panel. Otherwise, the colors would shift. So, of course, naturally, Samsung went with a curvature style 49 inch uh, width right here of the length to be vertical alignment. It is obviously a vertical alignment LCD panel that has the quantum dots behind it. And those quantum dots definitely help this panel with a much better color accuracy. On top of the color accuracy, you also get a local dimming. The local dimming, it's, um, it's just decent enough to give you a good balanced digital black levels. And I will show you those uh, adjustments as well. So let's get started with the settings, shall we? Now, underneath the bezel, there's this little joystick tiny little joystick controller right over here and that's where you can press press and select uh press and select the menus you just click on it and the menus will show up you will see like a circular uh circular bar show up here with about four different options. You got the power option, you got the uh, source option to check the HDMI, you got uh, PBP, this is a uh, split screen, picture uh, split screen, where you can have two different uh, sources being presented as two separate monitors in one monitor. Uh, and then here you have your menu, and this is for you to return. Now, this is the important part, the menu part. This is where you click. Remember, and every time you're doing this, you are using this uh, underneath the bezel, this little, like a tiny joystick. You click on it, like a mini joystick, like a thumbstick. It's like a little mini thumbstick. And then from here, you select. Now, since we're going to be doing a picture settings, we want to select up, click on the menu. When you click on the menu, you'll see another bar that's going to show up right here, which is right over here. You'll see it pop up. And here it's going to show you exactly what you have. Right here we have um, black equalizer to 10. I already told you about the black equal equalizer and the digital black levels that you can adjust them. Uh, they're right here. We have a respond time that shows up when you are playing the game. Uh, we have... 144 hertz on we have a free sync on and we have a low input lag on uh you have to remember this is a 144 hertz monitor and also has a free sync and a low input lag so this monitor will give you a really great performance uh when you're playing games like black ops or call of duty or world war z or uh, apex uh fortnite stuff like that pop now currently i'm on a game mode and that's where you want to be I'm on a game mode, and uh, let me show you what my picture settings are. Uh, the brightness, I have decided for me personally that the brightness, it's perfect at 79. Moving the brightness all the way to 100, it's something that I wouldn't recommend because this is a giant monitor. This is like the 49 inches in, in width right here. And that's that's not what you want. You don't want all that. Imagine having a gigantic 49-inch wide bar blasting a light in in front of your eyes. You're not going to enjoy that. So you want to keep the brightness at 79. 
the contrast is 63. I find out leaving the contrast at 63 really helps me out. It gives me that nice, uh, balanced, enjoying, um, less kind of like beaming into your eyes brightness. Remember, the reason I'm putting uh, brightness at 79 and contrast at 63, it's because I want to have a comfortable experience. When I'm playing this, this is a gigantic monitor. When I'm playing on this gigantic monitor, I want to have a pleasant experience for long hours. Sharpness 64, you have to have it at 64 because this is a big monitor. And you have 3840 by 1080 resolution. And you need to have sharpness at 64. Because if you don't have sharpness at 64, it will become soft. If you move it to 20 or if you move it to 30, it becomes very soft. And this is a big monitor. You want to have the sharp pixel detail here. You don't want to have a soft pixel detail detail because you got a very uh, wide monitor. And when you got to see this in person. You got to see this in person. I always tell people, look, it's a one thing me showing this to you. Uh, on a video, it's another thing for you to actually see this in person. I've seen people with two of these monitors, and I'm just laughing my ass off. Like, seriously, dude, what do you need two of these monitors for? It's going to look like a fisheye. It's going to look ridiculous. What, it's like a 63 by 9 uh, ratio? It's like ridiculous. Uh, so keep the uh, sharpness at 64. The color, uh, don't mess with the color. Just leave it as it is. Leave the color as it is. The reason I say leave it as it is, because it's not type of the color where you can just move it up and down. Okay, you, 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 you can only choose individually color. Like, I would keep everything red, green, and blue at 50. Keep everything balanced here. You already have the quantum dots. You got the RGB. You got the quantum dots. So I would keep red, green, and blue. I would keep everything here at 50. Keep it at 50. Color tone, keep it a normal. Remember, you'll be using it for the video games. So you want to keep the color tone in normal. Gamma mode, keep it at mode 3. This is really going to help with those digital black levels. Keeping the gamma at a mode 3, it's really going to help to enhance those digital black levels. Um, so the next thing is the black equalizer. The black equalizer, I personally been messing around with this for quite a while and to me keeping it in the middle at 10 is the best option you can see it right now through this camera but trust me this is the best option and the free sync i usually keep it on a standard engine uh the games that do support free sync they will use it obviously and you can save those settings and of course you want to have your low input lag on you that's already on and um, that's pretty much what I'm using here on this monitor. And, uh, and another thing I forgot to mention, you want to have your lighting on. Turn the uh, LED lighting on. This will, have with the, this will help with the peak brightness. Local dimming, you want to have the local dimmings on. This is also going to help with a much better contrast ratio. So keep the local dimming on. And uh, that's about it. That's pretty much all I have for you for the settings here. Uh, this is really like a request because I think uh, one of my moderators, he recently bought this monitor. And um, these are my settings, guys. Well, there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. Well, have a good one, guys. And uh, I'll catch you soon. I still have to do some more reviews on the, the Predators. 4K usually Blu-ray and The Predator. So I need to review those two movies. I know there's an update for Samsung KS8000. And I know there's an update for Q8FN. And I also know there's a new update for the uh, E8 uh, LG OLED. I just need to do some more research before I actually let you know my opinions on it. Or if, if there's any major difference and stuff like that. So... Thank you for watching. So this is Samsung CHG90. Uh, look, I had this monitor now for almost a month, and uh, I really enjoy it, man. It's perfect for gaming. It's perfect for video editing. And uh, 
it's it's a really nice package thank you for watching cheers